and hello my beautiful little pandas welcome back to my youtube and igtv um i know it's been a little while since i've done a video review and i apologize i've been super super busy lately um however i've managed to fit in some time to actually get one done and this one i'm actually really intrigued by like in terms of the brand so these were actually gifted to me by one of my amazing followers um who obviously bought quite a fair bit for me when i had my sale on cannot thank them enough um this is one of the pairs that actually they tend to wear quite often they think it's actually pretty good and obviously ask me have i tried them do i know about them the whole answer was just no um so they sent me some to actually review so i'm super super psyched about this so the brand is called esmara um and excuse the squish packaging obviously because we had to try and post it as cheap as possible somehow, so I had to squish it down. But, um, these are, sorry, this is the Esmara Best Form Shaping Tights. Now, I've got them in three different colours. I've got them in nude, I've got them in black and tan. All are 20 denny, apart from the black, black is 30, but I'll talk about all this, like, when I review each one, because actually I could be sitting here all day just yabbering. So let me start off. I'm going to start off with the nude. I'm a bit sceptical about this nude because this seems quite light. So we'll go with this one first. So it's got shaving taps, double brief, cleverly conceals without cutting in. And apparently we've got an, um, a massage vitality energised thing in the leg. So around the thighs is approximately 60%. Round jaw, round calves is about 80 And around the ankle and the feet is about 100 um, so these are tights with leg care technology by Lycra for gradual compression. These tights can help reduce the feeling of tired, heavy legs, flat seams and cotton gusset for extra comfort, reinforced ladder resistant toes. And material is 84% polyamide and 16% elastane. So this would be pretty cool to do actually. So, let's see what's like at the back. And getting in there like so so first thing i could see is obviously there's extra material here from from the waistband where they've obviously finished their seam but didn't want to cut off the end so okay um obviously just wrapped around playing card like so you can see pretty stretchy so that's good and by the way these are a size small which is an eight to ten and obviously really good, really good, um, stretchy like waistband and cotton gusset part and the boxer brief part. Now when I, by the way, when I say boxer brief, I mean this by the way, right? It's like a reinforced like um, brief part before it goes into like the sheer legs. So normally it stops about, about mid thigh. There I am saying mid thigh and this is high thigh, I meant high thigh. Anyway, um, so there's not, no right or wrong way to get these on, but I'm going to put this at the back because this is only going to bug me if that's at the front. So it's going to roll, it's going to roll, all the way down. Obviously, if you don't wear hosiery that often, I would say um, get yourself some gloves. They really, really help. And I'll only just let that go there because I realised like I did the seam so it was that way instead of that way. That makes all the difference. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but this has obviously got reinforced toes, that really thin line which ends, oh, yeah, which ends about there. Probably, I was going to say it's probably clearer on this side, but it's not. But I'll show you properly like on the toes, but yeah, it has got reinforced toes on them, so I'm happy. There's obviously plenty of um, stretch on the, on the toes as well, like you can see here. Obviously, you don't want to be doing that too much, but... Okay, so one thing I've noticed already is there's a bit of a deformity, let's say, on the foot area. I'm not too sure if you guys can see, but just around this part, it's quite, like, scuffed up a little bit. And obviously, I've not done anything apart from taking out the packaging, so... I don't know how I feel about this. Um... I'm trying to do it in such a way where I'm not exposing too much either, but it's literally just there. It's quite light, but yeah, okay. Don't know what that's about, but never mind. I'll carry on. 
So obviously take care if you obviously if you wear anklets underneath hosiery like I do. Um because that's the last thing you want is them snagging on and like luckily mine don't do that so it's fine. And then whilst I'm getting them on, I just want to show you like look at the skin difference. Like this actually makes my legs look a lot whiter, a lot more um pasty looking, I would say. I'm not really feeling it, but it's okay, it's fine. We've got two more pairs. So let me just let me see if I can try and do this without getting off camera. It saves me a whole load of editing then. I potentially can. I think. Okay, there we go. I've done it. I've done it without moving. So I will say, the waistband is very soft. Like, I can hardly even feel it. It's so nice. It's like, you know when you got like the baby's first bear? And it's got that really super soft feel to it. Well, this is what the waistband's like. So, that's what the nude is like on the leg. I will put flash on in a second just to see if there is some shine. But, uh, you know, good coverage otherwise for Tony Denia. And really soft, really smooth to touch. And let's see if I can do this without exposing too much. So see that's what I mean with the boxer brief part. Like, this part is super, super soft and really smooth like against the skin. And this is the part you can hardly feel on. I, I quite like it, to be honest. It's actually really nice. And that actually gives the whole reinforced part um, at the top as well. So, so just know that you're covered. So let's try this with flash. There we go. So just so I can come a little bit closer and actually, whoop, I'm really about four then. So as you see, there is a fair bit of shine actually. It's got like a, it's a shimmer shine. This is what I like to call it. It's a shimmer shine. So it does give that slight shimmer effect. Can you see just like on the ends there? They actually look really quite nice to be fair. Perfect obviously to wear as a, um, as an everyday look um but obviously just say if you're wearing in the evening you know you've got some really like nice mood lighting or if you've got like quite highlights they'll really um they'll really look nice on your legs actually so the toe part you know what i, I even got the same thing on this foot as well so once again let me just readjust everything and by the way for the people who comment saying oh well it's now 2020 doesn't matter I don't care, by the way, yeah, like, this is just me, and it's for my own self-respect, it's not, it's not to do with anybody or whatever, it's, I choose not to show anything. So, for those people who, you know, feel the need to comment, take that comment out as well, yeah, please. Anyway, so, rant over, so, this is another part on the foot, where it's, it's a bit weird. Let me see if I can try and show you guys up close, but... I'm hoping you guys can see it, but it is literally weird. It's so like, it's a little bit hard. It's a little, it feels quite rough. It's not that great, but yeah. Um, and it reinforced toes, as you see the strip going across just here. And obviously once again on the front covering the toes, um, you've got plenty of room for your toes to move around in these are not tight at all. As you see around the ankles, Really good fitted finish, so I'm happy about that, which means no wrinkles. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't mind wrinkles, but I prefer it on like my vintage hosiery rather than tights, you know, that I want to be wearing every day and stuff. So, but yeah, otherwise, they're actually not a bad pair. Pretty good quality, I'd have to say, considering these are actually quite cheap. I don't, I will find out how much they are, but I know they're not anything ridiculously priced so for an everyday pair i think this actually is not bad at all to be honest right so this is the first one done see it's so easy just taking your tights off it's so hard putting them on oh yeah sorry i forgot to say the waistband sits roughly about like my stomach area belly button area here and obviously the cotton gusset sits flush against my skin as well so there is no way that it would be falling down on me So that's first pair done.
mm, not bad the color is a bit wrong i will have to say but that's just obviously my personal preference if i'm honest we'll try pretty black or nude um not nude but tan no we'll leave tan for last we'll do black now so black this is a 30 demi pair this actually has a shaping top section so as you see she's got into that little like sort of panty kind of um design on once again it's 60 80 100 yep got that right and these are shaping top section tights with leg care technology compression basically is actually it's exactly the same as the other one i will be putting all this in the description by the way so um i don't have to keep reading it out because i'm just wasting time anyway so once again these are, these are a size small size 8 to 10 uh uk size and exactly the same way it's been packaged it's literally out the box and like so wrapped around plain card So these are not bad actually. I forgot to say, I didn't see any snags on that one when I took it out and I don't see any snags on this one. So this you will f slightly feel actually the uh, the shaping part because it's slightly, um, slightly tighter I would say. Like it's not as stretch, I mean it's stretchy but it's not as stretchy as the last pair I did. Um, but you can you can feel it you know you can just tell when it's like control top or shape wear and stuff you can just feel it um i also don't think there's a right or wrong way to get these on i'm hoping no because even the panty part is like um like exactly the same on either side so i'm i'm just gonna roll with it let's just let's just roll with it and see how we go once again scrunch and roll scrunch and roll and let me see if you guys can see like the reinforced part here if you can't i'll just show you on the on the feet anyway oh for god's sake do you know what's too dark let's just let's just get it on I'm wasting time wasting time okay so what the hell is this i don't know if you i don't know if you guys can see let me i'm getting them on do you know what let me get the flash on first I'm getting them on. Do you see this long wiggly line thing? What the hell is that about? What is this? Like it starts from like oh my god, I can't even bend my toes so much. Oh, right. Like, can you see that? What is that? What why is that happening? I don't know. I don't quite know. I don't like it either, and it's not stopping. Oh my god, oh my god. It's attached from this is this is the string I'm pulling here, right? It's attached to the gusset all the way to the toe. If I pull it, I'm pulling my end toe bit here. What the hell is this? Oh, there's a snag as well. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so not a great start, but it's okay. I'll try not to comment here as much as I really, really want to. Okay, thank God it's not on the other leg. So at least I can show you one good leg. Oh, guys, this is stopping me from actually getting it on. Like, oh, hold on. We've got to uh, get a flash on again because these are a little bit dark. But look, what is this? Like, what is this foolishness? I can't like, I'm wanting to cut this, you know, because there's no way I can get them on. Right, there we go. Even that, like, what, what's going on with the panty part here? Like, what is that about? That's not nice. Okay, anyway. I can't say I'm a fan of this pair now. I was really hoping they would be pretty good, but do you know what? They're not, unfortunately. Ooh, right, got that done. So, these, oh my God. Oh, it's so tight here now. What is going on? 
like this leg is fine here but trying to bend this leg is an absolute mission right okay so for 30 denny you can kind of tell they obviously are slightly darker hence why i've got the flash on to show you all um they're not bad they actually give a nice look to the legs but i'm very annoyed with this line business i even got some like material here got a snag here what is this i don't know anyway let me obviously just show you the fact that these are matte don't they don't have much of a shine um to them see what i mean with that line what is that what is all this it just gets even worse near the ankle part like look at that anyway um so yeah not much of a shine like i said these are more of a matte finish um just to give your legs that kind of silhouette um look to them i will also try and show you the reinforced toe part with all this material hanging out of it not too happy but hey ho obviously reinforced back and front um Otherwise, if this wasn't a bad pair, oh god, hold on, I've got the flashlight completely shining in my eyes. But, um, yeah, like, I did like them to begin with, but then with all this kerfuffle, it's not worth it. Like, what is this? I mean, I'm sure this is just only one bad quality pair. I'm hoping not all the black pairs are like this, but I'm annoyed. Um... Yeah, so obviously fitted finish around the uh, ankles and the foot, so it's all great there. I don't really have much else to say, yeah. They're okay. They, you know, they fit well. Um, I'm a bit iffy with the material because it's such a matte finish. It looks really grainy, really, like, you know, when you get lines going across it sometimes, like on one size pairs or something, you're like, what the hell is this? This isn't like some smooth finish. That's what I feel with these black ones. It's they're very uh they look a bit too knitted, that quite cheaply done, I would say. Um I'm trying not to be too bad or too harsh, but it is one of those it's I wouldn't be doing I would say my job, but this is my passion, so I wouldn't be doing my passion correctly <laughs> if if I was being too nice and not actually doing a good review. Um but yeah, so that's that part. So let me see if I can try and let me just hide it here. Sorry. Okay, so you've got the panty part at the top here going round. Um, the waistband sits once again around my belly button stomach area here. Um, plenty of elasticity in that. Um, sitting quite nice on me. Really comfortable band, so I'm happy with that. Um, obviously, gusset is sitting flush too, so there's no sign of these. Um, like, oh, hold on, I've done all this wrong. Yeah, there's no sign of these, um, f um, what do you call it? Falling down, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. But because I, I was trying to pull up at the same time, I couldn't get my words out. Anyway, falling down. That's the word I'm after. So, yeah. I'm not too, I'm not too happy about this. It's a shame, really, because I think these would make quite a good pair, but uh, but I found a bit too many, one too many flaws in them, so. Right, okay, that's that pair. And on to the third. So, this one is a tan pair. Once again, I'll put everything in terms of details um, on my description. But literally exactly the same as the new pet just in tan. Oh, this one has instructions on. Oh, I think they all did. And I completely missed it. Okay, no, they all did. And I completely missed it. So that's the instructions. I'm hoping that will maybe zoom in oh my god i have no idea okay i'm hoping they do but i'm not too sure guys there we go i think it is now i have to mess with camera settings so basically this is the instruction that they come with um they're basic stuff really but this is obviously people who don't really wear tights often who just buy them for i don't know autumn winter and just that's it oh do you know what 
this focus malarkey now is really going to get on my nerves. I've done messed something with the settings and oh. okay. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys the difference between the nude and the tan. And it's a huge difference already. You can see the tan has obviously got a bit more colour to it. Nude is just that's like nude, light. Whereas tan, we're looking at a bit more colour. So I'm happy with this. I feel like I'm going to like this. Um, exactly the same top as the nude one was. Really soft, really stretchy. Um, like I said, these are identical pairs, just uh, just different colours. I'm praying there's no extra material in this that's going to pop out at me at some point. So far, so good. About. Okay. Already it's looking. It's looking better. I'm happy with this. So I just show too much that I don't know if I did. I might have to blank that bit out. Oops. All right, so. Now that they're on, they are feeling so much better. They're even looking so much better. This is more towards my skin tone than the nude pair was. I mean, can you guys tell, like, it actually looks so much better and a lot more invisible on my legs because it suits my skin tone well. I'll also show you with the flash on. Front skin, trying not to expose too much here. I see like it's still got that kind of sh uh, shimmer shine to it, so I'm happy with that. Which is really cool, and then obviously you've got reinforced toes, front and back. So I'm really, um, I'm happy with this pair. I feel like this pair is, is a lot, lot better. Um, but I'm saying it more from a colour point of view. Obviously they're all pretty much like... This and the nude are exactly the same. I just prefer this so much more because it just looks better. Um, but yeah, like I don't see any deformities on this one compared to on the other one. I saw some on the foot area. This one's completely fine. Um, once again, obviously enough like wiggle room for my toes so they don't feel cramped. Completely fitted finish everywhere. Really soft, really smooth. So I'm, uh, I'm really happy with this. To be fair, I think this is this is probably the winner pair out of all three. Um, but yeah, that's my review done for today. I feel like I've done so much talking. But hey, I quite like it. I just, I yabber on. I can yabber on about like hosiery all day long. Anyway, so let me know what you guys um, think to these pairs. Um, and like I obviously tell some people sometimes in the comments, um, if you do obviously want me to purchase them for you, I'm more than happy to do so and get them sent out to you. Doesn't matter if you're in Europe, like Austria, USA, Australia, wherever, like we can actually obviously ship them to you. So don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, let me, obviously let me know what you think. Um, obviously you know which one my favourite is out of all three. And then, yeah, until next time, my beautiful little pandas, I will see you soon.